knows everything is done big in Texas, and the Alamo Dome is definitely evidence of that. Our marquee event for today's coverage is, of course, figure skating. And as you mentioned earlier, the Olympic Festival has always been the coming out party, if you will, for most athletes. And figure skaters epitomize that phrase best, from the up-and-coming youngsters to the veterans who've been on the verge of Olympic opportunity. This performance has usually given them that quantum leap into the spotlight. Christy Yamaguchi was invited to participate in yesterday's opening ceremonies, and she told me that when she was invited, she did not hesitate to say yes. The Olympic Festival has always been special to her because it gave her her opportunity to break through for ladies singles, and it made people take notice. Well, you know the story there. Christy he went on to be an Olympic champion. Now, figure skating is one of three winter sports here at the Olympic Festival, and they sold 40,000 tickets for this event. For some of these young athletes, it's the first performance they've had in, a, in front of a crowd this large. So they're looking forward to the 94 Winter Olympic Games, and they know it's important to make a good showing here in San Antonio. Familiarize yourself with today's competitors. Some of them may be your upcoming Olympians. Taking us through today's event are Jim Simpson and Peter Carruthers as we get things started here at the Alamo Dome. Thank you, Nicole. And the first order of business this afternoon is the ladies' technical program, commonly called the short program. And as Nicole Watson has just told you, some of these faces, maybe all of them, some of these names, maybe all of them, you're not familiar with. But in the world of figure skating, they are very familiar names and faces of the future of this sport in America. We said the technical program, the short program. Peter Carruthers is again with me. And let's, first of all, Peter, get an explanation of the technical slash short program. Well, the technical program is the first part of the competition. And it will place a lot of pressure on the ladies because they have eight required elements that they have to perform. All right. We said they may not be familiar with names. But let me give you one name. Michelle Kwan, 13, old enough to qualify for the Olympic team and could make it. Well, it was pretty impressive yesterday in practice. I had never seen Michelle Kwan, but she has the technique at such a young age to do the very difficult jumps right there, this triple lutz, beautiful. And she will definitely look ahead to everything that she can gain from this competition and not what she can lose. And Michelle and the other competitors hope to put their names alongside this list of the alumni of the Olympic Festival. Well, look at the list. I mean, it has such a historical precedent in ladies' figure skating. And, of course, with Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi as the standout. This is Carolyn's song, and strangely enough, or ironically enough, or and it's a coincidence, she is from Torrance, California, the same hometown of Michelle Kwan, of whom we spoke. Caroline's song is 15 years old and was seventh in the senior championships this year. She had very strong practices yesterday. Let's see if she can open up with this combination. Oh, unfortunate. That is hard right out of the gate like that. She must keep her composure because she has another jump coming up. The second jump, the double axle. And again, she had a fault in landing. combination look for the changes in position this is required within the spin
nice jump, a double lock, and she had trouble with that again. Really unfortunate because those jumps that are missed chip away at the technical mark. Allen saw enough to a very disappointing start here in the technical or short program. A really fine young skater, only 15 years old. We all know that within seven months, the Olympic Games in Norway will be over, and then they must wait four more years before the next Olympic Games, at which time she would only be 21. But not a real big start or a good start here today. Let's take a look again at Carolyn Song. Well, this is really tough because right away she had a difficult landing on that right on her bottom. Boy, I'll tell you, when you have that happening, what happens is you get this big jolt and you don't even want to continue, but you've got to get up and keep going. Now here's the spin combination. The change in position is required. Notice she'll go down into a sit spin. And to the layback position. These were fine. These spins are great. I think you'll find the performances may be marred by the lack of experience before large crowds. And this is a large crowd here in a large place, the Alamo Dome. Carolyn Song not off to the kind of start that she would like. One of the favorites here, along with her former, or I should say her colleague from Toronto, out of California, Michelle Kwan. And here come the marks for Kellen Songs, and well, they're not good at all. This is definitely a reflection on the jumps that were missed. Remember, I said there was going to be a lot of pressure on these elements. And this is a strong indication on the jumps. 4-4 four, four from one of the judges for Kellen Song in the technical marks. And now, very quickly, the artistic marks. And a little bit better there as she scores a couple of fives. A total of 8.7. Youth shall be served in the Olympic Festival only 14 years old. Out of Cary, North Carolina, Jenna Pittman, who in the junior championships this year in this country finished second. She's a junior Eastern champion. And believe it or not, at five feet four inches tall, one of the taller competitors among the ladies today. the jumps let's see what happens right now with her first double axle okay a little shaky but completed now she'll be doing the same combination that Tanya Street did it's the triple lutz double toe loop here it is slight touchdown and a turnout on the double toe loop. Jenna Pittman is another young skater out of that hotbed of good skaters. Delaware, Wilmington. She skates with the University of Delaware Skate Club, although she's still a high school student. thinking about getting through these programs without any mistakes. There is so much pressure to land these jumps and complete the spins.
first work for Jenna Pittman. 14 years old. Well done. And I think she's got an idea she did very well for herself. Well, it's nice to see someone pay attention to some of the finer details in skating, such as the beautiful arabesque position that she had on the spiral sequence. And speaking of her extension, as we said, that she's one of the taller competitors here at 5-4. Back to these jumps. The double axle two and a half times around in the air. Completed. And the spin combination with different positions. This is required that they go through different positions while in the spin. As I mentioned earlier, the very nice extension on the arabesque. The judges are for judgment for the higher elements. And now the marks for Jenna Pittman. The crowd reacting with a smattering of applause. Perhaps they thought they should be better than what they are. Let us see what they are. A 5-1, so it's tough with these judges to nudge over the five mark here. Only one in the five for Jenna Pittman. And our box for presentation. And there's a good set of marks. 5-3-5-1-5-4-5-2-5-3-5-3 and 5-3. At the moment, Jenna Pittman is in first place. But when we come back, Michelle Kwan, the favorite, will be on the ice. Back to the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas, the Olympic Festival, the ladies' technical program. There is Michelle Kwan. We will talk about this 13-year-old favorite in a moment. But let's have Nicole Watson talk about her at this moment. Well, Jim, what does it take to get here? I think Michelle Kwan's parents know firsthand. Her father drives from Arrowhead, California, drops his kids off to figure skating practice. They, he works eight hours. He drives back to Arrowhead, where he spends the night in a cottage. His van is less than three years old, and it has 145,000 miles. A lot of sacrifices for the family. And a lot of future for Michelle Kwan. And that future will depend on this opening double axle. Great. Look at the control at such a young age. This is very early in the program, Peter, but I say there's one four-letter word that this youngster does not know, and that is F-E-A-R. Fear is not in her vocabulary. She was 12 years old when she was in the Nationals this year. She just turned 13 this month. This combination jump could put her in the lead. It's a triple flip with a double toe loop. Excellent. A big smile. She loves to jump, and her favorite competitor doing so well worldwide now is Tanya Harding, who is also a leaper, an athletic performer. Yamaguchi said she's much farther along than what she, Christy, was at this stage, at this age, doing and completing more athletic jumps. jump right into a double lutz. Great. So relaxed with her skating. And here's the combination spin. a perfect program. What about that? Earlier this month, Michelle Kwan turned 13. She's a brand new teenager. 
And she has poise and lack of fear, and most of all, talent and training, Peter Carruthers. And how, and this is what it comes down to in this technical program. The skaters want to go out and skate without any mistakes. We just, shot, just saw that from Michelle. A perfect program. And as Nicole said, she lives up in Lake Arrowhead where she trains. She's recently been taken out of public school. She has tutors now, but her full-time job almost is what you're seeing right here on the ice. And what impresses me is the technique. Absolutely perfect in the air. Very tight and straight. Good rotation. And talk about technical difficulty. Three times around in the air and watch her vault right up into another double toe loop, and she's smiling after that difficult jump. We said at the beginning, there's Frank Carroll, her coach, very happy. We said at the beginning, many faces and names you do not know, but you will by the end of today. And they have seen five, four, five, 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 by far and away, the highest marks. All fives for technical merit, and no surprise there, Peter. What an accomplishment for her this early in her amateur career. <laughs> <laughs> quite at home, quite poised, and remember, as a 12-year-old, she was in the Nationals, where she surprised and shocked everyone by finishing sixth against all competitors here in the USA who do compete in the Nationals. Now we're waiting for that artistic impression, this young person who uh, likes to follow in the footsteps of Tanya Hardy, who has all this talent, all this poise. What about all of these marks? Here they come. And even higher. That five, four, tells five. you. Five, five, six. There is your leader. Just 13, and she's with Nicole Watson, Michelle Kwan. Michelle, I saw a grin on your face all the way across the floor. Last year you were up and coming, and this year you were you're the one to watch. What do you think about your performance? Um, I think I just tried my best and just go with the flow. <laughs> Last year you were the youngest competitor at 12 in the senior ladies division. Is that a lot of pressure for you? Um, not really. I am just like have to do what I do, just keep my face down about working <laughs> all right a great competitor thanks michelle thank you and does not know that word fear michelle kwan is the leader jenna pittman is second a yellow is third we'll be back in a moment on the ice now natasha kuchiki hometown los angeles california a former pair skater we had a chance to talk with natasha about the difference between skating in the pairs as she did and singles now the thorn uh, is the stem and you're the rose and when I was doing pairs I had to think about being in the air in the lifts the positions and then like death bros, and then communicating with him on the ice um, and now in singles you have to concentrate more on jumping jumping and jumping and that was not a big factor in the pairs well, it is a big factor now. She's got to jump, jump, jump here, Peter, in this short program. That's what it comes down to. The spiral sequence. like a sprint because it's over in just a couple of minutes and you have so many elements to perform within those couple of minutes without any mistakes as I said the pressure is just great and remember the pressure will build tomorrow afternoon at the same time on TNT we will have the ladies free program and decide the gold silver and bronze well good for her she did that Triple toe loop, double toe loop combination.
Natasha skating fairly well to this point. Here's another one of the jumps, the double lutz. Okay. Sixteen-year-old Natasha Kuchiki of Los Angeles has to be happy. She held herself together and turned in a fine performance on the heels of Michelle Kwan, who turned in an outstanding performance. That's also very hard to do to skate after such a great performance. Natasha, you heard she was a pair. She's decided to go to singles. She has another uh, sister who is also a figure skater. And let's take a look now at some of her performance. Well, this is what has been giving all of the ladies trouble, the triple-double combination. Look for the clean landing without two feet. That's okay. And now a good landing on the double toe loop. The double axle. Two and a half times around in the air. A little tilted, but she pulled that off. And she'll get credit for it. Natasha Kuchiki. Her coach is Wendy Olson and Cindy Stewart. And that is her mother there, not one of her coaches. Got to be happy about what has happened here today. And here come the marks for technical merit, first of all, for Natasha. They're all chasing Michelle Kwan. And she has some fives in there. And apparently will move into second place based on what we see here technically, Peter. I think this has happened because she really had a clean performance. And when I say that, I mean a performance without any mistakes. And now for the artistic impression marks of Kuchiki. Uh, yes, 5-2, five, 5-3, five, a 4-9, and the rest are fives until the final judge, and that's a 4-9. Now the standings at the end of the ladies' technical program. Michelle Kwan, the 13-year-old from California, the leader. Jenna Pittman is second, and Natasha Kuchiki is third. The performance, the personality, the poise, the talent of a 13-year-old, just 13 this month, Michelle Kwan has made a huge impression. We'll see her in the free program tomorrow. Now let's go to Ernie Johnson. Welcome back to the Alamo Dome. We're now to the pair's technical program. And on the ice, the favorites because they're the bronze medalists in our national championships, Karen Cortland and Todd Reynolds. Also in the Trophy Lodic, which we saw on TNT, they were the bronze medalist winners in France. And right now, they are thinking about this program that will involve eight technical elements that they must complete without mistakes. And if there are mistakes, to keep going and make no further mistakes after that. But I think we'll see a lot of maturity and experience with this team. Aaron Portland and Todd Reynolds are a pair that are thinking they may have a chance for Norway in February. They want to beat the competition here, and here they are.
the spin. You can see how they fell out of unison. up with a death spiral. This should be strong for them. Nice death spiral. Darren Cortland, Todd Reynolds with their performance. Peter Carruthers noticed a glitch here and there. And his partner and sister Kitty is seated nearby applauding with the rest of the crowd here in the Alamo Dome of two veteran pairs performers and Karen and Todd. Overall a good, a, a very good performance. However, a little bit of trouble with the spins. Now, the lift was very impressive in that she goes through two different changes of position. The star lift, and then watch him throw her off into a lateral twist, catch her with good control, very strong. And the side-by-side -side double axles completed. There were problems here. She just missed her toe coming up on that camel spin. And when that happens, you just are fighting to keep any kind of a spin going whatsoever. So it's unfortunate they fell out of unison there, but they picked it up after that. Garen works about 50 hours a week. She provides entertainment for shows. He says to pay for her skating expenses. And Todd is concerned with the University of Nebraska, where he is a student. Now they're waiting for their technical performance. They are supposed to be good. And look at this. Despite what Peter was able to point out, it goes as high as a 5-7. The lowest is a 5-2 for their technical merit. This will vault them into the early lead. As expected. Now for artistic impression. Well, these two veterans early in the season, but they felt it very important that they be here at the Olympic Festival. And get this season off to a good start, and they have gotten it off to a good start with the highest mark we've seen yet today in any competition, a 5-8, and they're in first place, and they're with Nicole Watson. Todd and Karen, you were alternates for the 92 Olympic and World Teams. Is this the beginning of your trek back for 94? Definitely, yes. This is the first competition of this year, so we're trying to get ahead early, and we're definitely going for Lillehammer. You're known as solid and mature performers, but I want you guys in practice. You don't give up from beginning to end. No, it's important to stick, stick to your, be determined, and make sure you do a good run through. Okay, a solid performance from you two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. On the ice right now is Stephanie Stiegler, another 13-year-older, and her partner is Lance Davis, or Lance Travis, I beg your pardon. Back in a moment to the Alamo Dome. The technical program here in the U.S. Olympic Festival continues, and on the ice, we almost have a generation gap. There is Michelle Kwan, who astounded everybody and surprised not many when she did such a wonderful job to take the lead after the singles ladies technical program looking ahead to tomorrow and here's yet another 13 year older all those stephanie stigler is about six months older than is michelle kwan stephanie is 13 and her partner lance davis is 22. that's why we said almost a generation gap they were first in the junior championships this year in the usa and at the same time won the pacific coast championship in the junior division so Let's look at 13-year-old Stephanie Stiegler and 22-year-old Lance Travis of California. They are chasing Reynolds and Cortland.
double twist. Beautiful. This is important. Side by side double axles. Okay. pair spin. Notice the different positions that must be done throughout the spin. They don't have the experience that Cortland and Reynolds have, but again, this is a great stepping stone for them. They're national junior pair champions. Maybe a little apprehensive at this point trouble with the spins. As did Cortland and Reynolds. Siegler, Lance Travis of California. And Stephanie obviously is happy about what she has been able to do. Well, I think they really show a lot of promise for the future. Think about it. They haven't been skating together that long. And what we've seen already is great. So specifically, what have you seen already that makes you like them? Well, what I see is the potential between the two to mature into a great pair team. Look at the physical makeup of these two people. He's very strong and she's small, but extremely tough. Now watch the double axles. Side by side, good landings, completed. And one of the other elements, the death spiral. Notice where the girl's head is. It's really, legally, it's not supposed to touch the ice, and it doesn't, but there's a nice stretched out position here and then they will finish up. Stephanie Stiegler, age 13, Lance Travis, age 22, together with Peter Overgaard doing the job as their coach, and he's talking with them right now. Obviously, they have to be pleased, but I guess coaches always have to look ahead to your next performance yes. and what you did wrong. But a pat on the back for Stephanie. And here come the marks. Technically, first of all, remember they're tracing, chasing Portland and Reynolds, and they are all in the five category with a high of 5 4. Good job, says Peter. At this point, that would put them behind Portland and Reynolds in the technical mark, at least. Their marks for presentation. Now, let us see if they stay in the second spot, or they got a 5-4. Remember, there was a 5-8 for Cortland and Reynolds. And so they move into second place. Coverage of the standings at the moment in the Paris Technical Program. Karen Cortland, Todd Reynolds are the leaders looking good. And young Stephanie Stiegler paired with Lance Travis are in second place. Brian Wells and Laura Murphy are third. I'm Jim Simpson with Peter Carruthers. And on the ice now are a few pretenders that might just nod, nudge into one of these top three spots. The Yoko Ina and Jason Dungeon. Well, they have a good position to skate in that all of the top contenders have skated to this point. So, with the judges not waiting to hold any marks back, they could move into a nice position. And look at this death spiral. 
They were fifth in the Nationals this year. Kyoko was born in Tokyo, lives in California. Jason is a Michigander all the way, born in Detroit and goes to Michigan State University. to do the same elements within the technical program, you begin to look for the little mistakes because nobody can do anything other than what the others are, are well, that's doing. That's exactly right. That's what it comes down to. Who can skate the program without mistakes? Well, they're giving it a shot, aren't they? Certainly are. Let's watch these spins. Will they stay together? Fairly good. Yoko Ina and Jason Dungeon. The question, will they wind up in the top three? The long program tomorrow, Sunday. But they're struggling for position now with the favorites, Cortland and Reynolds, in first place at the moment. Again, I see a lot more experience in this team than some of the other skaters, and that always helps because they've spent many hours together on the ice. And they've had some successes, as we said, fifth in this year's national championship, and in last year's Nations Cup, they were second. Now, look at the perseverance of her on this double axle. I'm not going to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> and she did not. And their overhead lift with a different variation on it. And watch him hold her up with one arm. And then she'll do an actual somersault and flip out. A smile on her face. That was a fairly strong performance for them. Ina in Dungeon. Acknowledging the crowd and I think also smiling a little bit that they realize that they have done a good performance. A question in that. How about this? The crowd. How about this? Five, 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 three, and a five, six. Technical merit. And that might be enough to get them as far as second. We'll wait and see. Maybe, maybe even climb into first. But they're happy with their marks thus far. The second mark will tell all. The second set of marks, I should say. And we're waiting with them and with you. And here they come. Five, four, five, three, five, five. That will not be enough to take over first, but they have moved into second. Stiegler and Travis go to third, and of course, Cortland and Reynolds remain at the top of the heap. First day of figure skating here at the Olympic Festival is over. The standings and the pairs after the technical program. The favorites, Karen Cortland, Todd Reynolds, one, Ina Dungeon, second, and Stiegler Travis, third. Looking back to the lady singles earlier today, the 13-year-old star of the day, Michelle Kwan, has the lead. Jenna Pittman is second. Natasha Kuchiki is third. The finals are tomorrow, but now let's go to Nicole Watson. 
Thanks, Jim. I think the thing that most impressed me about this competition was the competitiveness of the athletes. Even though some of the teenagers were a little bit nervous, they put in some solid performances, and they know it's great experience for them. 13-year-old Michelle Kwan put in a spectacular performance where she smiled from beginning to end. In the pairs competition, Karen Cortland and Todd Reynolds, solid and mature performers, and the ones to watch here at the Alamo Dome. We're finished with the competition here, Ernie. We're going to send it back to you at the Broadcast Center.